Hey everyone, welcome to the video. In this video I'm going to talk about how you can set up your controller so that you can fly, possibly be fully operational in DCS world. I'm going to talk about it in three sections. First being controller without track IR, a controller with track IR, and then finally with an elite controller. Now, to save your time and my time, I'm not going to be repeating myself throughout the section, so the first section is going to have the bulk of the information, and then whatever is relevant to the next sections I'm going to mention. Also, I'm just going to put out all my thoughts about why, when, how controller all the way at the end of the video, and we're just going to dive right into the controls right now. First things you want to do, obviously, go to adjust controls. Now, you can do this in the main menu, but I'm going to do it here for obvious reasons, like demonstrating what each button corresponds to. Now I have a bunch of aircraft, so I can tell you that 90% of the aircraft, all this, or 90% of the information is going to be relevant to most of the aircraft. However, some aircraft do have certain things that are different, um, and they can all be solved. So there, there's no issue for that. But 90% of the stuff you're going to need for all the aircraft. Now, the first, thing, the first things I want to do is go to Access Assign. You can access this through here, but I like tabs. So what I'm going to do is, or actually I've already done this, but I'm going to do it. I'm going to reset category to default. So this is what an Xbox One controller should look like when you plug it in. Now, and you should know that this can be the same for PlayStation. Actually, it kind of is the same for PlayStation. And then you've got a bunch of other controller manufacturers who mimic those controllers. That's pretty much the same too. However, the uh, non-official ones, so non-official Xbox or PlayStation, do or may have some certain differences. But obviously, I'm going to be using the Xbox one. So we'll reset the default. First thing you want to do is scroll down to thrust, and you want to clear this. And I'm going to talk about why you want to clear this, and I'm going to show you exactly why. This is what's going to happen if you leave this at Joy Z. You're going to come here. That's your throttle, and I'm going to go right shift or right control and enter. Get you that diagram there, and then look at this. I press RT, and then all of a sudden I'm 50%. Okay. There's no way you can stop this. You're going, you know, you're going less, but you, you can't do anything. Okay, this is stupid. If you let go of any of the triggers, this is what happens. So it's very important to stop this from happening. I'm just going to get onto the runway because we don't want to get stuck on the grass. Okay. And now I'm going to go escape. Anyway, so first thing we want to do is clear out. Go to access assign and clear out Joy Z. We're going to replace thrust later. First thing we want to do with Joy Z is go to the rudder, clear RZ, and use Z. There we go. Could be LT, could be RT, depending on how, whatever it reads, but it doesn't matter. You go to uh, this, OK, and then you need to check because depending on if it's LT or RT for you, you need to check if it corresponds to the rudder control that you want. You go here, see, now I'm pressing LT and it's going right. I don't want it to do that. Maybe you want it to do that, but I don't want it to do that. I want it to correspond to whatever uh, that rudder is going. So if I'm going right rudder, I want to use RT. The way to do this is to go to escape again, back to access assign, joy Z, and access tune. Then you're gonna find a box that says invert and you're gonna check it. Once you've done that, you're gonna see that I'm pressing RT right now, we're going right rudder. LT, left rudder. Next thing you wanna do is go to roll and pitch. Now these are preset to Y and X, which correspond to the left thumbstick not sure, I'm not 100% sure about PlayStation, but it's pro possibly going to be also preset to the left thumbstick. If it's not, doesn't matter. I'm going to talk about why uh, right now. If you want this to remain that way, that's fine. 
personally I prefer to have it the right thumbstick and I'm going to talk about why that is actually I'm just going to mention it right now that's because ultimately you might will be using the d-pad for your trim so um, it's not really you know kind of convenient to use the left thumbstick and the directional pad <laughs> using your right thumb okay that way you <laughs> actually it's, it's kind of tedious but anyway if you like that that's up to you uh, I prefer the right uh, thumbstick and then the the left directional pad for um, for trim so I come here and then I go you can flick your stick to get the button or you can drop down and choose RY and RX RY is going to be for my pitch now you, I could clear this actually but it doesn't matter because I'm, I'm not going to do that for roll until you why it doesn't matter just go RY and then for roll I'm going to go RX Third thing is absolute camera horizontal vertical view. Here you want to go and click on your controller and choose the other thumbstick that you're not using. So for me, it's going to be the left thumbstick, horizontal movements, X, Y for the vertical. Now, here is something important as well. You might find that the aircraft is too sensitive, doesn't feel or you don't feel the weight or anything like that. To compensate for that, you click on whatever axis that you want to, uh, you know, uh, tune. You go to axis tune, and then you choose the curvature, or you use a user curve to be a little bit more precise. I like using user curves, but you know, to start with, or there's something else about user curves I want to mention is that if you do choose to use user curves, um, first of all, you you got to get all the numbers to equate. Um, and then to, to get obviously a, a you know a relative um, you know line, but at the same time you want to use slider. When you start using that, you'll realize why. Okay, so for now I'm just gonna let it be, and you can use curvatures simpler. It's faster probably for you just to get up in the air as fast as possible. Usually something between 20 and 25 is uh, good, but I mean you you know try yourself. Just gonna leave that what it is right now, and then you can do that for each axis that you want, okay? And the sensitivity of looking around as well. Now, without track IR, it's important that you choose something to look around um, whilst remaining on the uh, on all the, the necessary buttons. So usually you have both thumbs on the thumbsticks. You have your uh, you know finger on the trigger maybe or in the buttons. Okay, so you don't want this to be the the other buttons like the A, B, Y, or X, um, because you know it's it's faster to look around and fly at the same time when all your fingers and stuff are are, are on this the thumbsticks and a term that I call H O C Hawk or whatever hands on controller. So moving on. You could make use of a modifier, okay? And we're going to talk about this a little bit later. Um, for now, we just go to all, go back to all, and we're going to go through the essentials of flying. To start with, I'm going to go and mention uh, how to select brakes. So you can search for stuff. You can type wheel and you get wheel brake. You can type brake and you get other brakes maybe. And sometimes things are not as straightforward as that because things like the F15 or sorry F16 have like SBK to indicate speed brake instead of right typing speed. If you type speed or brake, you won't find anything. You need to type SBK or something something like that or LD for landing gear. So it's kind of weird, but um, there are set wheels uh, set <laughs> buttons like W for wheels and B for uh, speed brake usually and what you want to do is go to the controller again and then press whatever it is that you want. I'm going to preset it to B, the button B or, you know, circle on PlayStation for, um, oh, this is speed brake, so I'm going to set A here. A for air brake, okay, it says speed brake, but you know, it's an air brake anyway, so I'm going to set A for air brake and then I'm going to go to wheel brake and I'm going to set it as B, okay, and that's the second button. So A was X and, and on PlayStation. We're starting to see why I'm using Xbox. <laughs> anyway, um, 
the next thing I want to do is go to gear. I'm going to press G because that's usually the first key that, um, the preset key that's there. Okay, and in this aircraft, going well, for one button is okay. Now, I talked about how other aircraft are different. In these other aircraft, there could be more than one type of, um, you know, function with the, with the gear handle in terms of up and down. There might be a neutral one and you need to, you know, set something for that. For now, we're just going to stick with this and I'm going to go X for gear. For Y, I'm going to leave it free because I'm going to add it as a modifier. Okay. You go to modifier. This is how you add a modifier. You add a modifier. You choose the device that you want to add that modifier in. That's controller. And then, you know, you can select the modifier like this or you can press that button on its own. I'm going to press Y here. I pressed Y just now. You saw I didn't select it. It says it in use. I don't care. I'm going to press Y and this modifier is already be added. You can make it a switch. You can turn it a switch, but, you know, that's up to you. So now Y is a modifier. We're going to see what's it's, uh, what's, what the use is going to be. And then we're going to go to flaps by pressing F. The F18 has more than one flap function, uh, one flap like uh, stage. So you've got half and you've got full and then you've got auto. Um, the F preset is preset to auto. There is a uh, cycle <laughs> function and you can choose a button for it, which I'm going to choose. For all intents and purposes, I'm going to choose this button and I'm going to call this button select and the other button start. And if you know what I mean, good for you. If not, you know, they're like the option menu buttons, whatever it is that people call it these days. For me, it's select and start. And it's those buttons right in the middle of your controller on top of the uh, right thumbstick and then uh, to the right of the left thumbstick. So the one that's to the right of the left thumbstick select for me, I'm going to click it for flap cycle. Obviously. All these buttons can be switched around for you, but this is just what I think a controller person uh, would, you know, like to use. Because I did start out with a controller way back when, uh, not because I didn't have a hotess, it's just as I was a different country, didn't have my hotess with me, and I still wanted to play DCS, so I did it with a controller. Second of all, you can choose auto or half or whatever else with another button, or you can choose your mod. You can use your modifier now because there's different settings you're gonna have to see what you know fits for you but if you wanted for example to use the same button uh just to get for example the auto half you can go and go ahead and click y the button to click by itself but anyway it doesn't matter we can click y and then button 11 or sorry button 7 and then we're gonna get that you know to be for flaps now for thrust Okay, we're just going to go ahead and, and, and click thrust. You don't find it, so you go to throttle. Okay, that's probably what it is. It's throttle. It's numpad up and down. That's what we need. Okay, or, uh, you know, plus and minus. This one, throttle smoothly decrease and throttle smoothly increase. These are the ones that we want to set our throttles to. Because remember, we cleared the throttle from the axis. So now we're going to be using the right bumper and the left bumper to um, control throttle there's no way to use or there's no way i know of that you can do this with a basic controller to get the triggers to be the throttle without bugging this thing out or maybe i haven't tried and spent so much time to try to figure it out but um, this is a very good fix and then increase i would use my right bumper which corresponds to button six here and then the left would be uh, the left bumper okay sorry sorry decrease would be the left bumper this would look like this you know it's very different look this is smoothly increasing okay it's in stages it's not as smooth as you know having a hotas but you know that was me like just tapping it and then when i was decreasing i decreased it with one hold so it's much better you saw there's nothing like buggy about being it right in the middle when we click the rt and lt so this is why we switch that now at this time okay you could definitely you know look i'm using my right stick to move the the, the, the stick if you want to go ahead and turn the aircraft okay this is looking right now oh, damn it i removed something from the okay never mind I'm actually using a controller, which I'm not used to for this. But anyway, um, 
we just go ahead and move this here turn left right okay so I haven't used the controller in a while but anyway we, you can go ahead and easily take off by adding throttle pressing RB pressing RB and you know pull back and you're in the air press X got the gear up as you can see and now look I'm gonna cycle through the flaps right here okay that happened but anyway cycle through the flaps cycle god damn it it wants me to press F press F and now it's cycling because it's an idiot it needed me to press F first okay I don't care how the aircraft's flying right now I'm just showing you this real quick but you know I'm pressing the button and it's cycling through the only problem with this is that when you want to cycle um, it's gonna cycle from where you came from so if you're in auto it's gonna cycle to half like now and then it's gonna cycle to full and if you're at full it's gonna cycle back to half and back to auto so you're gonna have to remember your sequence uh, once you're cycling but you know you only need this mostly for takeoff and landing because in auto you know this aircraft is gonna um, you know it's figured it out on its own one thing I didn't talk about is trim and I'm going to show you exactly how to do that right now simply go to trim and then choose the corresponding buttons on your d-pad so left for left wing down that's your aileron trim to pull you want to go down on your d-pad up for push and right for right aileron you can choose to trim reset uh, if you want um, you know some of the aircraft some aircraft don't have this feature some aircrafts do I know it for the f-18 I have a hotas I don't really care for it but if you want you can again here use your modifier so go here and then use Y and then press some other button to set it another thing I wanted to talk about is the air brake now it's speed brake here isn't it okay now I know I put air brake or like, like a as the speed brake for this you could however use the extended retract if you want to have two functions and that way you, you always know the f-18 has an indicator that when you put your speed brake out which I'm gonna do right now okay Speed brake decided not to work. So, okay, so I was pressing B, nothing happened. Now we press left shift B, something happened. I'm gonna go back here. And this is why I wanted to mention this because for most of the FC3 aircraft and stuff, okay, FC3 is a Flaming Cliffs aircraft and those are the low fidelity aircraft, but most of those aircraft, uh, the one function is more than enough and it works well and stuff. I like to use extend and retract, I prefer that. I also know what buttons I'm using to do what because not our aircraft have an indication, although you can, you know, hear it yourself and you can feed your aircraft, you should know. But um, anyway, I want to do that. So if I wanted to do extend, I could make it button A and then if I wanted to do retract I can go YA that way I know it's A is always for my air brake but only when I click YA it will retract it obviously you want to press Y first your modifier first and then press A and that's uh, pretty much it so here we're actually too fast I'm not gonna try landing I'm just gonna move on to the next section